jobs is the issue now. And I think the anger out there is about creating good jobs. And people who work hard every single day <laughs> to support their families are angry that who's getting the bailout? Who's getting the support? Who's getting the help? It isn't people who work hard for a living. And who, who, uh, who harvest our crops and put food on our table? You know, who clean the buildings? You know, who uh, cook and wash dishes in the restaurants and the hotels? I mean, the, and who, who build our buildings? Uh, these are men and women who work hard every single day. They're part of the working class of this country. We need them. We depend on them. And this country is very hypocritical uh, because we pretend they're not undocumented when they do all these services for us all over the country, almost every single state, almost every single town and city in this country. But then when it comes for us to respond to their need, which is to bring them out of the shadows, then we say all of a sudden we call them names. They're illegals, they're aliens, they're lawbreakers. Shame on them. Well, I say shame on us. Look at ourselves and say, who works hard in this country? And I think we have got to remind everybody that immigrants and undocumented immigrants are workers who produce, who build this country, who have for generation after generation. And, that, and, and, and the anger is not against them. The anger is against those, those politicians the idiots, the hypocrites, the cowards who will not face this country, who will not face workers. Um, and as Marco says, you know, the election on Tuesday or any other election, they've never been lost because of the immigration issue. They've been lost because those politicians are cowards and won't uh, f fight hard for people who work in this country. And it's time for this, uh, it, it, this labor movement has responded. Uh, changed its policy a few years ago and has actively been involved in the immigration debate. We want to make sure in any immigration proposal for legislation that is developed that that proposal has protections for workers, has protections for the undocumented, has protections for native-born workers. As long as those protections are in there, then there is no problem amongst all other workers because we either get lifted together or we get torn apart and get uh, uh, you know, uh, pushed against each other, we're all going to lose if we get um, um, you know, pushed against each other. We have got to fight hard for all of us to be lifted in this country. And immigrants and undocumented immigrants are an essential part of the working class of this country.